Hello everyone, it's your boy the Humajishi. Hope everyone's having a great day. Without further ado, to the gameplay. What are you doing here? How did you get past the wizard? Oh, bless you, my friend. I felt my hope fading away. I almost became wizard. What's going on up here? They'll hear you. And believe me, we don't want that. <sighs> Thank you. My family, my farm, all lost. I'm the only one left. Bring it safe. Let's go. A mess. Nothing in my studies prepared me for this. I came looking for the other druids and somehow I got a bit surrounded, I suppose. It is. Oh, well, I would have figured it out soon enough, but thank you nonetheless. Meet me at the edge of the farm. We should talk. Okay.
RP, okay. Je te fais How did the farms deteriorate so quickly? It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. Transforming druids into swarm answers. That's not human magic. That seems like the magic of the island itself. I've only just returned from completing my druidic studies at another warren in the north. Whatever happened here, I missed it. It appears all the other druids fell lost from one day to the next. If I didn't know better, I'd say this is some kind of curse. Not likely. I've never heard of anyone who could snap their fingers and turn people lost. If such magic exists, I'd like to know more about it myself. Do you know the history of this region? Ah, well, I'm something of an expert on Windswood. It's a bit of a tale, but I think it'll help you understand. Two thousand years ago, Cataclysmic wars between Eternum's earliest civilizations ravaged these southern plains. The sorceress Medea came to Windsward in the war's aftermath, determined to restore this land. Though the ancients were gone, Medea had learned many of their secrets. She channeled Azoth to create the verdant gemstones. These would shield and heal her new domain. Elder druids arrived centuries later to discover what had become a bountiful land. With Medea's blessing, they tended to the plants and animals, and winds would flourish to new heights. But as centuries passed, the sorceress developed new ambitions, seeking to claim realms previously beyond her reach. 
The verdant gemstones were left in the druid's care. This would now be their garden, their responsibility. But the wrath of the angry earth struck soon thereafter, and the druids were hopelessly outmatched. Medea returned with a fury, purging every last baleful sprig, rescuing Windsward once more. For their failure, the druids' exclusive claim was rescinded, and settlers came to Corinth. Medea demanded a tribute for her continued protection, hiring the Iron Rose mercenaries to deliver it. Now, it seems, something has gone awry yet again. I return home to find our land suffering, and my fellow druids with it. Druidic blessings turn to curses, bounty turn to famine, and life withering away. No hope in sight. I realize that sounds a bit dour, but it is the truth of it. The question now is, what's behind all this mess and how we go about cleaning it up? Not intentionally. It certainly didn't turn out well for them, did it? But it's possible some unfortunate effort to bless the land went astray. Ah, oh, that blowhard speaker of the winds is pushing that theory, isn't he? Buffoon. At least we have Elder Satvik. It's good of you to help him. Expecting <laughs> song. I commend your attitude. I'm sure whatever you accomplish with Elder Satvik will be worthwhile. I do hope we meet again. Until then, fare thee well. That, my friend, was most impressive. These vegetables may make all the difference. I spoke to the farmers you rescued. They said you also rescued a druid? What did she say? Hmm, she must be initiate. They train up north. Perhaps she can help us make sense of all this. I... The speaker insists he sent Medea's tribute. Which means it would have been carted off by the Iron Rose mercenaries. They're supposed to be protecting these farms as well, but I haven't seen hide nor hair of them. Yes, they were hired by Medea herself to protect and transport the tribute. But the town had engaged them for security as well. I haven't seen a single member of the Iron Rose company since this whole thing started. The Iron Keep lies to the northwest. If you can go and find out about the tribute, it may help us solve this dilemma. I should get these goods back to town where they're desperately needed. Good luck! I don't know what... Unless uh, somebody's like playing music and I'm hearing it or something. Tip timer? Uh, I gotta go back.
I don't understand. My comrades were hardened soldiers. Tough bastards, one and all. We've all died a time or two. What soldier hasn't on this island? How could every one of them have become lost? We heard the farmers' cries and rushed to help. But the Beatles were on us the moment we emerged from the garrison. We, we, we fought bravely. But when my comrades began to fall, I realized they were returning as lost. It makes no sense. The Iron Rose have steel spines and iron resolve. We don't despair. Ultimately, I also fell beneath the blade of one of my former comrades. I was too shocked to fight back. Yes, but I can't be the only one. I fought alongside these soldiers against impossible odds. And now they become lost fighting some damn bugs? Sergeant Cawthorne, tough as Orichalcum. He must be here somewhere. Would you do that? I can't bear to face my former comrades. Not again. Find Cawthorne. Then meet me at the Iron Keep to the west. I must report this to Commander Merrill. Though I dread doing so. Don't forget to set yourself a campsite. If you get in over your head, it's a safe place to go back to. Okay.
It's all over. Everyone's fallen lost. They're trying to make me lost too. I may already be turning. Oh, oath be damned. I quit. I'm done. You... You didn't see. Sergeant Coughlin took an arrow and she turned and tried to bite my throat. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. I quit. Out there. <laughs> no way. No way. They're everywhere. I've seen those soldiers fight. They'll tear me apart. I need to... I need... Is there really a way out? Okay. You can do this, Gideon. Just close your eyes and think good thoughts. Are you sure? Never mind. That's it. I'm going. Um, I, I, I'm just gonna stay here a minute. I think I spoiled my armor. <laughs> Go on. It's better if we travel separately. Oh my god. Oh damn shit I'm saying. Supposed to be a soldier, man. A soldier. Defeat loss. Former Iron
Commander Merrill dives under the Minotaur's blade, dodges left, weaves right, and plunges his sword into the heart of the beast. <gasps> oh! <sighs> Sorry. I didn't notice someone was near. I was... Uh, training to join the Iron Rose Company. Stalwart bastions of valor they are. I don't have a copy of the Creed. You look like a hardy adventurer. Could you swing by their camp and borrow a copy for me? Thank you. I've seen it posted near the ink. I know I'll have to meditate and learn. Oh, that's how I get lodged.
You're back. I had heard that many of them became lost. I was worried about you. Thank you so much. I'll study this and memorize it. Someone has to carry on their legacy. I'll make myself worry of the name. With study and dedication, one day I'll be worthy. The creed says valor is a beacon to those who've lost hope. Let your blade shine a light in the dark. I agree. Problem is, I don't have a sword. And Iron Rose soldiers ought to have an Iron Rose blade. They are very specific weapons. Can't be crafted by just any old smith. That'd be marvelous. I've hit enough sticks against tree trunks. I swear, the forest is starting to glare at me. Okay. Here's an iron. Keep the final sword for ruin. Okay. Uh, it's which is right here. Um, I'll finish. I'll do this first. And I'll finish the other quest that I got. What a relief to see you again. I'm afraid that the same curse that befell the garrison has struck the Iron Keep as well. It's swarming with my lost brethren. What did you find there? Is this Sergeant Cotteran's armband? I can't believe it. The fall of Cotteran the Red. Never thought I'd see the day. Of course. This day is not like any other. The Iron Keep has fallen to darkness. Something, or someone, clearly brought a curse on us. It could be, but I can't imagine why. We've delivered her damn tribute for more years than I can count. It makes no sense she'd turn on us. Although, Cotteran was on the rotation to escort the tribute this season. And if she was still at the garrison, well, I don't know. Uh, there's only one way to know for sure. The staging area is inside the keep. Either the wagons are there, or they aren't. Now listen, I want the truth and to prove the Iron Rose didn't fail in its duty. But I can't raise arms against my fallen comrade again. Not yet. <sighs> You've got metal. I'll give you that. You'd have made a fine addition to the Iron Rose if all this hadn't happened. But yes, go look for the tribute. In search Commander Meryl's office, too. He managed correspondence with Medea, so you might find something. I'll head to Corinth and see the Speaker of the Winds. Meet me there after the keep. There's a shrine nearby to speed you on your way. Good luck, soldier. Quit bags and creature. Oh no, it's a...
By order of the Speaker of the Wits, I'm writing to inform the Iron Rose Company that the city guard will be escorting the tribute to Medea. The Iron Rose is relieved of the responsibility for this season. I will be escorting the tribute myself, so you needn't be worried for its security. Guard Captain Dupont. Tribute for the season has not arrived on schedule, and, as you well know, this is a breach of my contract with the Iron Rose and with the town of Corinth. Whoever holds the title of Speaker of the Winds these days, they should be reminded of the consequences and described in detail in the original covenant. If this situation is not remedied quickly, and to my satisfaction, further reparations will be expected. I will not hesitate to visit Winsworth myself, and personally see that the cost is paid for these transgressions. Yours in candor, and quickly decreasing patience. Medea.
A warrior is no more noble or sharp than the iron of the blade he carries. No more graceful than the way he treats others. Oh, thank you, thank you! You truly are a friend. I'll be able to practice properly now. Trees, beware! Okay, did that. Damn it, I really wanted the buffalo. Ah, it's good to see you. Uh, <laughs> almost called you comrade. I'm glad you made it safely. It seems this disaster has spread all across Windsward. What did you find in the Iron Keep? So, all this means the tribute never made it to Medea. But I still don't understand. If the Iron Rose didn't have the tribute, who did? That beady-eyed little bastard! I'll see him tarred and feathered if this is his fault. But wait. If Dupont took the tribute, this speaker would have known. This explains why he wouldn't see me. They're rotten scoundrel. They can't dodge this, though. You've got proof, right? That's good. I'd join you. But I'm not sure I could resist the urge to bash their faces in. You'll do better alone. We just I see smiles on faces that were once dour because of you. To know that even one person breathes easier because of us is to have succeeded. 
I hope you remember that whenever you look on the potted saplings. That is true magic. That's exactly right. Gods be damned. To be present for another human being is to share in their divinity. To be kind is to perform miracles. Song of the Forward. That's all the way over there. Okay. I guess I'll skip. Let's go see you what the uh Ah, the hero who restored our windmills returns from the field. Gratitude is in short supply in Corinth these days, but I, for one, salute your courage. Ah! As I've said countless times now, we've sent the damn tribute. We can't always guarantee the caravan's safety. As was my right. That witch Medea, if she's still there, has robbed us for decades, giving nothing in return but some legend of magical protections. I sent DuPont to learn the truth. How could I know he'd be waylaid on the road? Even so, if Medea wants a war over it, then damn it, we should give her one! Of course not! The town wants to continue appeasing Medea. So I've tried. Even now, if we can recover the tribute, I'll send it. You can help. Talk to Captain DuPont. He'll give you the details. All right, slow down, hero. We're all mad about the stolen tribute, myself included. But going out there to reclaim it won't be a walk on the beach. The pirates that hit us are a tough crew. If you want to volunteer to take them on yourself, be my guest. But I ain't going anywhere. There's a few pirate dens scattered in Windswood. But it was the Buccaneer Creek bastards that attacked me on the road and took the tribute. People are saying those pirates are lost now. <laughs> so that just means they're all the more ruthless. So go on, hero. Let's see how you fare against that outfit. Thank <laughs> you. 